Hi, I'm Stieg Dahlstrom. I work for the Marie Selby Botanical Gardens. I run the Orchid Identification Center there. But I'm here today, this morning, this beautiful early morning in the Fakahatchee Strand Preserve. And we're here to see if we can find the rare and beautiful ghost orchid. Along the way, we'll see how the human actions of the past have shaped this unique ecosystem and all of its inhabitants. Fakahatchee grass, named after this place where we're standing, the Fakahatchee Strand Preserve. And I'd like to introduce my friend and guide here, Mike Owen, park ranger, park biologist here in the, this wonderful place. Yeah, well, Fakahatchee is an incredible place. Uh, superlative number one is it is the largest strand swamp in the world. Mm -hmm. It's 19 miles long, three to five miles wide, about three feet deep. So it's the Grand Canyon of the Everglades. Yeah, right. Or it's a big valley. It's the Valley of Trees. Mm -hmm. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas mm -hmm. talked about the Everglades being the river of grass. Well, the Big Cypress Swamp and the Fakahatchee Strand are valleys of trees. And I'm basically a student of the Fakahatchee, constantly learning yeah. about all the different facets that are out here, from orchids and ferns and bromeliads, all the other epiphytes, to the animals and the hydrology that drives the system as well. The only road into the swamp is quite busy this time of the day. Are they millipedes or centipedes? I think it's millipedes. They have two pairs of legs per segment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is our eastern glass lizard. That tail can break off yeah. and not bleed, and it'll continue to twitch. And does it grow out again? It does grow out again. It's never quite as long or slender or, or you know, as good looking as the original tail, but it's another tail. This is actually a lizard and not a snake. It just doesn't have legs. And the difference is that lizards do have eyelids. Lizards can actually blink at you, snakes cannot. Also, the jaw is different. It uh, cannot disarticulate like a snake jaw. And the ear openings are different. The lizards actually do have ear openings and snakes do not. And we'll leave it to its own devices here. If you don't want to encourage it to... Uh... We'll let it go. I probably will kind of maybe just scoot it in the direction it's yeah. going. Well, buddy, should be plenty warm now. 